Two boys, one podcast. Two boys, one podcast. Your movie connection. When it's time for reflecting, we make fun of each other. Then do film reviews. Winner or loser, is this movie right for you? Nope, it sucks. Don't press your luck. You better listen to us. Two boys, one podcast. A uh, happy, uh, happy Valentine's Day, man. I would not choose happy to go boy. footloose on the Spruce Goose. Welcome to Two Boys One Podcast. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, listen to that music. That's nice. We have like stuff now. I, I gotta say, the it's only, like our production level went up. The only person in this A group bit. that is actually trying to raise their game <laughs> is Supreme Dingus. I don't know. I mean, you're coming up with all these catchphrases that I read every you're every reading regular them? episode. You're uh, you reading know, this, on them. Yeah, I would not choose to go foot loose on the spruce goose. You would, you slid that across the table on a torn piece of napkin. You said read that. It's true. I wrote it in egg yolk. I, yeah, that's, <laughs> you're that's welcome. The leftover. From <laughs> yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Moss. yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, guy. I mean, we're a little bit late, but you know. It, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it anywhere I can get it. That's, that's why we're doing this podcast. Oh, man. How was yours? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't remember anything about it other than my brother and I went to trivia that night. It was a Tuesday night. So How'd you do? We got destroyed. Yeah. What? SD was there to testify. Is that true? Oh, yeah, 100%. The yeah. team of two with the historian beat yes, the six you. of us. So We got... There's a historian, huh? Uh, so, yes, there's another historian. She's better than I am. <laughs> no, oh, she's, you're, you're she's a, a true historian. historian. Shut up. You're a schmuck. That's true. I mean, that's true. That's true. Did either of you two look in your s- sweetie's eyeballs and just kind of Google around a little bit and think, oh, ooh, 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 boy, I love you, baby. Don't have one, Jason. Uh, no, we literally a few days before were like, we're not doing Valentine's Day, right? And she's like, oh, yeah, no, no. I was hoping you wouldn't even think about doing something. That's great. That's a win. But we, we skipped it this year, which was good. Yeah, we, that's a win. I mean, but you still could have gotten in bed that night and kind of gone, ooh, 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 I love you, baby. <laughs> I think I slept on the couch that night. I sleep on the couch. Of every my night. own accord. <laughs> I wasn't I mean, relegated you to have it. Done, you could have gone, ooh, and any lady you wanted. Why didn't you? Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. You guys are missing the uh, what, visual that, aspect that, of what Rob's doing right now. <laughs> that is, is, that, is that historian lady. Ooh, 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 I think, no, she ooh. plays with somebody else. So she was there no. celebrating Valentine's Day with another winner. I've seen those pipes you got there on your on your arms. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why, didn't, why didn't you go and uh, those, assert your dominance? I don't have dominance to assert. Well, you don't. Do you know that? Yeah, pretty confident. I've lived lived my time on this earth enough to know that I am not dominant in any way. Well, ask me what I did on Valentine's Day. What do you do? I looked my sweetie in the eyeballs and I went. (laughs) (laughs) You win the day, my friend. You win the day. Uh, Well, I forced her to watch uh, my bloody Valentine in three D. Well, it wasn't. It was the two D version of the. Oh, you didn't movie. get the. You didn't get the free glasses to go. With <laughs> no, it? no. Well, you oh, know, no. it's, unfortunately, it's pretty not tough everything to, can be sprung for. To find a streaming version of an actual three D movie, I've seen quite a few three D movies in two D yeah. due to this. Uh, and how did she appreciate it? That was pretty. It's, it's an awful movie. I've never seen it. Which means well, you, it, you saw a little clip from it. Like, I did. A little. Yeah. You both did. Yeah. Happy fucking Valentine's Day. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. But before that, we had uh, <clears throat> a little tie-in to the podcast. We watched... I let her choose her movie first, and then I got to choose one. That's how it worked. Nice. And we watched a nice little movie uh, called The Penthouse, which is absolutely fucking terrible. It's a take on... What's that Hitchcock movie with the the guy and he's in a wheelchair and he's looking out the window at the apartment black back window, I'm side the, window, the rear window, the rear window. window. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close. So it's, it's pretty the back much. door window to the, the garage. Anal, anal, anal yeah. camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a it's I a colonoscopy window. Say, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's uh, this couple and they live they own a marina, 
and they have the penthouse on top of this, uh, well, building, of course, whatever, apartment building. And they're looking down at this uh, boat through their telescope. The only, and there's there's nefarious things, nefarious, nefarious, nef, nef? Nef, Mr. Nefario Mr. is M- the, Mustafar. the yep. second villain mm-hmm. in uh, Despicable mm-hmm. Me. Mm-hmm. Nefarious yeah. is uh, a villain. I, I, wasn't that like the second son of uh, Odin? Nefarious. Anyways, no, uh, no, like Balder Thor. The only Loki. the only point is they were looking down at this, this ship down there, and they're they're staying beyond their slip limit, and you'll never guess who was on that boat. Shia LaBeouf, Michael Perry. Oh no, shit. From Space from Rage. Space Rage. I feel like that movie yeah. was just called Space, but it caused so much rage. rage that they changed yeah. the name. I must say, Victoria was not having a good time because he <laughs> to was, which he, one he was the best. Which one was she neither? Not neither. <laughs> but the, the evening started out with the bad guy. Just every time he got a, he, he plays an okay bad guy. So, Perry oh, does, yeah. Okay. Oh boy, he's getting some space rage. Yeah. There's the space rage. I said space oh, rage as much as I possibly could. I bet you did. And and did finally, she, she says, "What cards? are you talking about, space rage?" <laughs> And I tell her, and she's like, oh, God. Did it stop me? No, it did not. I got to say, when this story started yeah. 14 minutes ago, <laughs> and you had the only Valentine's Day celebration, yeah. I thought, oh, that must be nice. And now, when it ended, I thought, oh. Do you want to be my my little sweetie, and then I can look at you and go, Goo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Do I have to watch yeah. the, the 3D? Penthouse, the penthouse. Pen, and, yeah, the penthouse. Both, and, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've watched worse shit, you know. It's true. It's true. Sure, I'll watch it go. <laughs> that was even close. In, in the end, it was it was okay. We had we had a, a a decent evening. Good. Well, I'm glad. I I have no interest in watching either of those, so I hope that they're not on the, not on the docket for tonight. But well, it remains to be. I got. Got bit by a snake. I might be turning into one. See, I I can wait. That's fine. I can wait. Other so this than, is a regular episode, huh? We don't do these too often. We don't. The, it's the it's the non-special special. I think we can. Call I think it we, we've done non non-special special. This is non-special special special. I've, 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 Dude. It's the it's the first of the year of the yeah. non-special yeah. special, and it's uh <laughs> first and last. <laughs> Anyways, I, I forgot to mention Michael Pare, Space Rage. First time we had a Supreme uh, d- Ding. Uh, Dingus to- hosted the show that, that d- time. Dingus right? Among Us. Yeah, it you, was great. you had been commenting, but that was the first time that you produced the show. Yeah, we, right? did, it, we did it over at your. That's the other, only, to date, the only office, video. Yeah. Oh, your form. Sorry, I apologize. The only, only video we've done, right? No, we did. Yeah. We, Didn't yeah. we do Hook? I thought we did Hook. I don't yeah, think we did no. video. Oh, my mistake. We took one picture. It's yeah. almost like video, just you know, yeah, shorter, sure. much, 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 much shorter. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for now. Yeah, I took this video. Yeah. It's just a lot shorter. It's one, I mean, I took a few one video. photograph. It's one versus I don't know a million different, but yeah, in a way, I mean, you're not yeah. wrong. It's just a short video. It's fine. Yeah, it is a short video. It's very short. Would you watch my short film? How short is it? One still. It's one still long. <laughs> Would you watch it? One I'll frame. I'll give that a whirl. Yeah, sure. one, I thought you were going to say One field of one frame. 90 minutes long. Yeah, home. You got it. Just a... Boom. And you're done. Yeah. That's a pitch. That's a pitch. Yeah. I'd like to make a short film. And you're done. Thanks for watching. Everybody go home. Might create some buzz. I mean, it'd be a short buzz. It'd be like... Zzz, and you're done. Which is... It's fine by me. I mean, I've seen a lot of terrible short films, so... It wouldn't even make the list. And a lot of the films we've covered on this podcast, I think, should have been that short. But that's okay, How about too. this one? I've tried. I've tried so hard. <laughs> You've tried on the specials. You don't even know. No. You don't even know. How many... Okay, this is, this is a question for SD in the back. How many of the podcasts and the specials... How many of the movies do you think total you've seen all the way through, front to back, Good tip question. to tail? The actual movies? The actual movies. Wow, yeah. Gosh, probably, I mean, not even, not even half, I don't think. No, not even half. 
That's it. Are you That's kidding it. I me? Think, I think you're getting you're yourself near a little as too angry much as I am. <laughs> you guys not don't pick that terrible not movies. Half of them are like Die Hard 1. No, those Die are Hard the specials. Two. That's not the same. No, no, no. Well, the Die Hards, I believe, have all been on specials, but we did get Lethal Weapons, a regular episode. Lethal Weapon 1. We've only done Lethal Weapon 1. Ooh, that's too bad. Uh... <laughs> Don't get any bright ideas. I don't have anything to say about it. Yeah, yeah well. Uh, uh, I mean, there have been... What would you say... Like, I, I have not gone through to Cull and, and make a list of the the actual rating system. I'm sure there is one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Was, was there enough. a point to this? Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, what would you say of the movies that you have seen all the way through? Like, what would you say your least favorite movie is that you've seen all the way through? Of all the ones that you've done? Of yeah. all the ones that we've done. I yeah. mean, it's, it's got to be Space Rage, but it's only one of the few ones that... The bad ones I've watched, I mean... Yeah. Most of your other ones I have not seen. Like, obviously, all the mainstream ones you guys have done, but... Yeah. Space Rage was pretty... Uh, I mean, most of the holiday specials you've seen, like the Ernest yeah. ones and a lot of the... Hell yeah, the, the Ernest ones. And the horror ones. Right. I mean, a lot of the horror ones you'd seen, too. And you you and Rob both agree that I'm too harsh on those, but you hadn't seen some of the holiday ones other than that, like the Christmas ones and stuff. So I was just curious which ones you thought, true, like, but... these are terrible. Like, we've seen some shit. We've seen I mean, some shit. Some. Granada, man. It's been a while, though. I feel like it's been a few years where you guys haven't really delved into the shit. Well. Until. We keep bringing it back. You know, we used to always talk about uh, um, segues. And it's it's interesting because for Christmas, I got a segue. Mm-hmm. And I've just been. Just driving it around zoom, town. Zooming around. <laughs> Zippity zoo, zippity zoo. <laughs> Anytime I see a little sweetheart, you got a bluebird on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a gem! I used to listen to these podcasts, but I found myself annoying, so I stopped. You stopped listening to our own podcast? Well, I found myself too annoying. Now we're down to zero zero listens. Yeah, <laughs> at some point I'll get back to it. <laughs> got about a year back long. Anyways, a year. Yeah, Is I that think- like five? Somewhere around Willow, I stopped listening. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, which is, yeah, it was two, technically two years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. But that's hey, did right. you see that TV show, Willow? I haven't seen it. Have oh, you seen no, it? no. You? No, it's on no, my, it's no on my list. It's no, on my ad list. No, Willow's. I heard it wasn't too good. I don't make a list What'd anymore. you hear? Good? I haven't heard anything. What'd which you hear? Good? Probably means it I good. am on a full stop on Disney shows for the time being. Let's be honest, the movie wasn't all that great either. I mean, sure. It's fine. It's good. It's fun. Mm, mm, mm. Man, you guys just... Mm. You guys have no, no fucking sense What movie sense did that lead whimsy. to? I feel like there was a little hiccup in the, the chronological yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that went straight to your little... Men in tight. wasn't men in tights, but... Robin Hood? It did go to Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Willow Robin Hood. Yeah, but there was a discrepancy. We had to eat. really cover in those uh, classics. I love that movie. I actually watched it two days ago, so you can all fuck yourselves. I I think we had a little bit Goodness. of a hiccup. I don't remember any hiccups. because he didn't have a name. He was a stunt guy. Well, I don't think we right? get too many of his shits so, about anything. No, we didn't. We, we, we don't give any shits. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. Is I, I believe I believe I interrupted you. You were talking about a segue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zig, 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 week is time for the next segment. Zig, 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 week is time for the next segment. Screamed a little early if you ask me, but anyways, we're going to talk about this movie. It's called The Final Tear. It's got Daryl Hannah and... Uh, Nobody else. And uh, Joe Pants. Maestro from Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. You guys want a little background on this before we get started? Hit me. Final Terror, 1983, filmed back in 1981. I'm sure you guys will cover all that. Um, other uh, titles for it were Campsite Massacre, Three Blind Mice, and Carnivore. I was going to say or. Or. or <laughs> was there any other ones? Or. Uh, why do you think that the name of it is Carnivore, Jason? <laughs> I, I don't know why. I, why? I literally right. don't know. Uh, no, I'm, I'm saying because it says it in the first couple 
like seconds of the movie across the screen and then never makes a reference to it again. Is that why you think the title <laughs> is Carnivore? <laughs> is that it? Uh, I don't. I don't mean pretty to, like, good speculation. Yeah, a little bit. Um, Rob, would you like to like come up with a another like? Do you want me to read the thing about uh, what it's about? Like, yeah, synopsis? you go ahead and re- hey, read. Hey, this. Let me do a background. This is my one chance to shine. All right, you, you, you shine. shine you away. shine bright. 1993 other notable films: Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. Never heard of it. <laughs> it's a little very. It's an indie <laughs> it's flick. It's an indie movie. Yeah, it's, it's real small. That indie one. Uh, Scarface. National Lampoon's Vacation. Kill those cockroaches. Uh, Trading Places. Superman three, and most notable of all, Jaws three D. What did we do? Superman two or three? Two. Oh, I think I think it was two. Right? It was two. Like, don't look at me. I wasn't there. All right. Rob's consulting. I want to read the synopsis. The official synopsis of this movie. A group of rangers. Two. Yeah, that's what I said. Go camping on unfamiliar forest oh, grounds. Insane. All's well until the group members start getting killed by a cunning killer in the woods. It's what your you classic say? tale of uh, supposedly children being led out by supposedly adults. They all look the same age, except, for, except, for, except for one gal. Oh, she children, she they're young women. Young people. It's like spring break in the woods. Were, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little confused, honestly, on what, what exactly it was. It was supposed to be the Forest Service, correct? I, I honestly thought when we watched this, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I know them. <laughs> <laughs> From my former time. Yeah. Cleaning toilets. Uh, I yeah. did notice no. that no toilet cleaning was done over the course of this film. Well, you know, it might so surprise how accurate you to know could it be? the Forest Service does other things than cleaning toilets. Not that we've heard of. <laughs> well, <laughs> SD likes that. <laughs> Hurts my feelings. Does it? I did. I did other things. I believe that, and I. I, I, I did I, other I did, things. I did, I did mean to also articul- articulate through the course of this movie. Not a nary I, woodsman's pal was seen. Well, that's because they don't exist. That's not true. Well, go ahead and tell us about the other things that you did. Oh, camping, you know, so on that. getting sick. Yeah, I got camping. I got stranded. Giardia. Fighting badgers. You know, I taunted a badger. I don't know if I fought it. It ran uh, away. It was you, a fight. You bullied it. Yeah. What you Have you seen the video? He badgered no. a badger. Oh, yeah, I badgered, he badgered a badger. A badger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, hey, badger. What are, you, what are you, a big chicken over here? What? what? Anyways. I did. I watched it. Yeah. I watched it several times. I can, I can uh, witness that. Is a badger a chicken? It tastes I, it's like are they related? It's part of a chicken. It's no, a, it's a are, wing are of a serious? chicken. Uh-huh. No, I don't even know what a badger is. It's I mean, we weasel. don't see what happens at a buffalo. Wild I don't know what a weasel is. What do they call a weasel family? It's part uh, of like the it's probably like a, a fisher's part of that family. Grip, a grip a weasel. A, a grip a weasel. <laughs> weasel grip. All right. <laughs> I'm sure. It's uh, fine I, by me. Anyway, anyways. Uh, I did other things besides cleaning toilets. Like sometimes I would just look at the toilets or use it and admire them. Sometimes I used them. Yep. Sometimes I tell other people they needed to clean them. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know, sure. I did lots of other things. I I believe that. Yeah. But we only sometimes I marked where the toilet. You know, the toilets were on a map. You know, that's and then just, you, just and then to you name moved a few. Them, and then you moved them. Well, just to name a few things. I feel like. As far as the show here is concerned, we we just kept a tally of the yeah. the cleaning. I, maybe it's in my book, but it was a lot of toilets. <laughs> a lot of toilets. Yeah, it's a lot of. Uh, so, anyways, the, these, the taming uh, of the number two. Yeah, <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> not bad. I'll be here all day. A shrew is not a rodent. Just learned that before the podcast. I did not learn it at all. Anyways, uh, so they're... Are they with the Forest Service? These... Honestly, I have no fucking okay, idea. Okay, so there's a group of uh, very similar-aged people going out into the forest to both... They were do... rafting. Yeah, no, but they did some work. I mean, that first scene after they get out They gave they the impression, there. yeah. That they were doing some sort of some work. Some sort of like maintenance were... on the way. Yeah, I don't know if they were doing some 
toilet cleaning. They were example, they were maintenancing. Or, they were rafting. Yeah, they, they might have been boning, doing some underbrush. Yeah, they were yeah. camping. They were dying. Maintenancing. Mm-hmm. Camping. Mm-hmm. Rafting. Mm-hmm. Boning. Mm-hmm. Dying. Yep. Yeah. That's. So checks all the boxes. I feel like we're gonna. I. It's gonna seem to people that we're skipping. What this movie is about, <laughs> and I. I just want to preface at this point, we're not. Uh, we're not skipping anything. We've given you exactly the synopsis after watching it that... Okay, full disclosure, Rob and I watched this movie after the Christmas special, so it's been a bit. We, if you've listened mm. to the Christmas special, had we'd had a day. Rob has since seen it. Did it make more sense to you Post Christmas special, then it Call did. special, yeah, no, uh, yes, some, well, not really, yeah, no, not at all. Okay, neat. So there's a bunch of uh, people out in the woods, and they're, uh, yeah, again, apparently doing some sort of service for the community slash having a holiday under the there's <laughs> apparently three leaders. One of them's a kook, which is our, our uh, Joe, Joe Joe Pants, Joe Pat to Link the Gown. What's his name? Joe Pants. Joe Pants <laughs> from Congo or Link, uh, the Missing Link. Yep, to Pantaleon. Pa- pa- Joe What's Pantaleano. He? Pantaleano. Uh, anyways, he's real weird. He goes off in the beginning because he's just a real grump, and the other adults, quote-unquote, kick him out, more or less, and just say, hey, go get the rafts, we'll meet you down there. And then the other two adults are killed, and the rest of the, quote-unquote, kids that look exactly the same age are left to try to get back to civilization as they're discovering their kin friends being killed. Within the forest, it's all within the forest. I'm going to interject for just a moment, if that's cool. Sure, interjection. Uh, so this movie is a train wreck and I don't know if it makes any sense on paper. So to begin with this movie, like somebody made it, somebody was like, great, 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 cool, 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 cool. We got, we're going to shoot this. And then whether it was one producer or four people in a room that were like, Jesus, we've made a huge mistake. They had to go back and reshoot scenes. And Mm -hmm. so the opening scene, which seems off, no matter how drunk you are, where there's like this random killing at the beginning. Which you guys can attest to upon that first viewing. Yes, we were not drunk enough (laughs) to appreciate this movie. (laughs) They have a a random killing in the woods. And you're like, oh... Okay, and it's important to note that nine years prior to this movie actually being released was Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which had kind of spearheaded the start of this slasher craze, right? Mm -hmm. Which still we're in the middle of today. Nine years later, so seven years after the Texas Chainsaw release, this movie is being shot, and they think people should actually die in a slasher film. So we're going to go reshoot some scenes. They reshoot the opening scene. Makes no sense. And then... Without the director. Without the director. And then if you want to play that clip on the bus. Hey, Edgar. Isn't that your old home? (laughs) (laughs) You know what that is, Wendy? A mental institution. This is the only foreshadowing that happens in the entire film. Mm -hmm. That scene... We didn't truncate it. It's on a bus. And they're kind of bullying Joe Pants. Like, he's certainly, you know, a little bit off. Mm -hmm. Um, But that's the foreshadowing where his, like, they're they're kind of alluding to his mother was the person that they're telling these stories about at the mental institution. Yep, 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 yep. And then they go off into the woods. And at no point do you see like, oh, you know what? I bet he's very good with a knife. I bet he's very good hiding with fur. I bet he's going to be... A Vietnam vet. A Vietnam vet with post-traumatic stress. 
I kind of all lumped into a, what, a nine-second clip? Yeah, yeah, sure. I really don't, I don't, there's so much of this movie that I don't understand, and I don't know where to put that. Like, it got me. You know, I was never clear if he really was the killer the whole time. He's not the sole killer the whole time. Right, right. Because then we haven't mentioned uh, Daryl Hannah. Daryl Hannah is the only reason that this podcast is covering this movie today. Because, like, so so they shot this movie in 81. And then it gets done, and everybody's like, oh, we've made a huge mistake. A massive, like, let's let's just pretend that it was out of our control, and we'll bury it. No one will ever see this film. Because of Daryl, that we know about it, though. And then two years later, Daryl does this little movie that one of the hosts of this podcast loved more than anything. Would you like to talk about that, Rob? Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Blade Runner. Yeah, she did Blade Runner. And because of that, Daryl Hannah went... Yeah. And I've never really understood this, but when they say, like, a meteoric rise, I've never understood that phrase. Yeah, it's quite a change from... Because meteors crash mm. down. But she has this astronomical success. And this is the one thing about this movie that is actually impressing to me because I don't know who did it. But somebody who'd been sitting on this shit egg thought, yes, this is my moment. I can sell this movie now. So they turn around and they sell this film for distribution because Daryl Hannah is in it. Well, they, they had been mm-hmm. shopping it around for a long time. Oh, they had tried. Yes, certainly they tried. No one like, no one wanted it. No, no one, one wanted it. it. Yes. Because it was utter, well, yes. you guys are talking about it. So It's full of shit. Yeah. yeah well, it was uh, Joe Roth was the producer, and he was good friends with Roger Corman. No shit. Yep. So he's like, oh, ah, brother. we know how to get movies made cheap. And, you know, Nightmare, or uh, not Nightmare, um, Friend of the 13th was, yeah. was hot, was hot, hot, hot at the time. Hmm. And then uh, they're like, all right, we're going to make one, too. Comes out. There's but three people ki- fucking three kills die in, in that movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there was three kills originally in this film, and they're like, "Oh shit!" That well, slasher films need to have deaths. Like, yeah. You know, because mm-hmm. what? Friday Thirteenth mm-hmm. had what six, seven, eight, ten, ten murders sometimes. Five people die in this movie, yeah. even with the added scenes. Yep. Yep. Which was added randomly after you know in post. And they added how many did they add? Two or three? Yeah, like I mean, not it was just two. many people. It was just the, they the add so three people, people die in this movie. If honest, honest to God, if you take, if you take ten core minutes out of this six, movie, I can think of six in deaths. this film. Yeah. All right. Well, if you take ten core minutes out of this movie, honestly, this movie is about people being lost in the woods and just yeah. things going wrong. Are they lost? I couldn't follow at all. I watched it just in the background, and I was like, uh, "What is going on?" It's like, there's no sadistic they're kind killer. Of just there's no, and yeah, there's sort of a sadistic killer. But I mean, if you if you take <laughs> sort of. if you take ten minutes out, if you take if you take the scenes yeah, 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 with yeah. Joe out and his yeah. mother, and like the weird cabin scene, and then the the weird opening, and then even the the two yeah, the couple be. that like went away to to bone by the waterfall. If you take those scenes out, it comes out to be about ten minutes, and it's just about these people on a raft, scared in the woods. Well, it's scary out there. Yeah, even more so when you're an idiot. You didn't like this one. I don't know what it's about. I honestly don't know what it's about. A bunch of quote unquote kids, uh, maybe running from a killer, maybe they're lost in the woods, a little both. I feel like they're they went out to the woods because they thought it was haunted, right? Like they were I looking think, for like a, a a scary like way to couple up kind of thing. Sure, is what maybe. I saw it as. So it's like going to a horror film for the weekend, right? Like, well, you're going to cozy up and, and sleep in a tent and who knows what. And in in the process of this... I might look at their sweeting. <laughs> in the process of this, they realized that they could bully one of their own. And it just so happens that the one of their own was 
the son of the woman in the insane asylum and, and had been to Vietnam and had been to Vietnam. Not that that matters in this sense at all, other than the fact he can hide on a rock, I guess. Well, he, he learned forest skills. Sure. Not evidently that they don't teach them in forestry, but okay. <laughs> well, not to say booby traps. Okay. All right. Well, his mother seemed to have a good handle on it too. You know me, I like to defend a movie sometimes. It's a good atmosphere. I'll say that. This one did? Mm-hmm. Okay, well. Play that music again. Hit it. I said hit it. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, man. Uh, so uh, looking, at, looking at the IMDb, just looking at the content rating, sex and nudity, mild. Agree. Profanity, mild. Violence and gore, red, severe. Marked red, well, severe. Like, I didn't, I'm not making not enough, that up. Well, I don't know. Red, severe, five, six deaths. Like, how would you, like, you are you've a. Never, you've never presented this sort of No, I'm just saying, before. like, like I this is, I'm movie. just saying, this is your genre, right? Like, yeah. the, no, this should be. No, definitely not a red. Like, how does this measure up even to Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Seven years after this genre I'm definitely not read. has catapulted to the forefront, right? Where it can make money. What, what now you're just uh, what, 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 I'm defending slasher movies all of a sudden? I'm just saying like what would you would you classify this as a slasher movie? I, I mean I, I said it would definitely be classified as a slasher. I'm not a huge slasher fan. Which doesn't make a difference in the classification. I suppose it is. I, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is great. <laughs> it, it spawns some some shit like this. What 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 about this makes it definitely a slasher film? Uh so there's no supernatural elements. Um, but they try to allude to them. Like with the insane asylum yeah. and yeah, like well, the weird still, cabin but, with weird shit and whatnot. But you still you still have you know Freddy, Jason, both. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, even, even Michael. That's all, that's all slashers. Your classic slashers with supernatural elements and varying degrees. Couldn't tell you what uh, the timeline is amongst all those in this. No, I mean I'm, I'm not fixed on the timeline. I just feel like. This movie was late enough into the game where well, they they literally should have in. known better. Yeah, I suppose. And they had so many people. There were a lot of characters in this film. Like, they had people... To die. To, like, they had them ready to die. They just said, oh, no, we, what's the point of killing them well, in like a slasher film? Me, yeah, well. I don't know anything. Like, the, the idea that this film... Like, there's so much dead time in this movie... Where there's just silence and walking in the woods, mm-hmm. I don't. I honestly don't know what they were thinking. Like none of it actually makes any sense to me in any in any facet of filmmaking. It's like, all right, we're gonna. That's a director, even like go walk off into the woods in this direction. And I, I was really genuinely hoping that I had good news on this, Rob, because I wanted a career killer for both the writer. And the director of this, I was I was looking forward one, huh? to it, and I didn't. But it was shocking to me what I, I, what else the director had done. Yeah, the it was. Fu- I was shocked. He fucking directed the Fugitive cool. two movies later, which is nice. mind blowing to me. I can see it. Under, can you Under Siege? So <laughs> Under Under Siege one is pretty good. What is not shocking to me is before Under Siege, he did Above the Law. And then before that, he did Code of Silence. So Above the Law is just Steven Seagal with a gun. Oh, God. And before that, it's Code of Silence with just Chuck Norris with a gun. And then before that, it was this movie. So Final Terror. So Lee literally goes Final Terror, Code of Silence, Above the Law. Then the package, it's called. I have no idea what that's about. Under Siege, The Fugitive. He goes one for five, which means he failed up. Holes. Yeah, eventually he gets holes. Holes? Was shy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. yeah. He did collateral damage and then holes. Mm. And then he did The Guardian in 2006, which I didn't hate. So overall, not too bad, huh? I don't... 
understand. Like it honestly, I feel like I'm being punked looking at his IMDb page. I do because it seems like very different people made well, those. Do you movies. know who co-wrote this movie? There were like three writers on this. Yeah. I don't know who and, to give credit and one of them or blame wrote to. Alien. No. Yes. Mm. Oh my god. Now that we're co- he was co-writing. So but the still. the guy that did the yeah. story that he only wrote for, and unfortunately, this wasn't his last. He still found a way to 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 just plague humanity. Uh, the other cre- the other four credits that he did, maybe you've seen them because they're genre specific. I guess Turkey Shoot, nineteen eighty two. You've seen it. Uh, Harlequin, nineteen eighty. No, no. Uh, Don't Talk to Strangers, 1994. No. All right. Turkey shoot, though. 50% of them. One of them worked on Alien. That is infuriating at a level that I can't describe or articulate right now. That's... You could try. It just just makes me angry. TV movie, Don't Talk to Strangers. Yeah, but it was also starring Pierce Brosnan in the heart of his 007 run. So TV movie or not, it was a it was a good moment for him. It just looks like a shitty James Bond movie. It looks like just a shitty, shitty movie. Uh, somehow, like there's some weird, like Daryl Hannah did some garbage stuff. Yeah, but she also did like Splash and Kill Bill. Yes, Girl. she did. But like before she did that, she did a couple movies that. Well, yeah, that was the whole idea. She was a nobody, which were yeah. most of these people at the time. That is true. Yeah, that's true. Well, What's we watched one of them. She was, we, did, we did what? Yeah, oh, we, this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were alluding to another. No, referring, just this one. Referring, alluding doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, at the very end, um, Edgar maybe is the killer, and then at some point, she disappeared. Uh, Daryl Hannah, she comes out, sort of went native, kills him. <laughs> and then gets killed with a booby trap. By the very Ewok. You remember that? The very end of the movie? Yeah. I I Do don't you? understand it, yeah. but it happened. Like the the whole thing they had all these booby traps set up and the mother comes in, they were like watching them on the river mm-hmm. with ample opportunity to sabotage. And then they hid on rocks along the way. Mm-hmm. And then that killed three minutes of the film. And then they find what they think is the the ending, like the opportunist moment, and somehow they manage to kill everybody, just themselves. They just killed themselves. Yeah. They yeah. they killed themselves in the booby traps that they set. Yep, which was neat. Could have happened, you know, an hour and a half earlier and been fine. Wouldn't have changed a thing. All right, all right, Zeke. It is a pretty abrupt ending, isn't it? It is, yeah. I just honestly, I feel yeah. like they ran out of film and said, <laughs> "Good enough, this is it." Because <laughs> yeah, we don't know if they got out of there, but uh, it Ad- took, Edgar and Daryl both die. So. I feel like Rob and I, in the state that we were in, post Twelve Days of Die Hard, we were both watching it, and we were like a minute in to Joe's opening rant, thinking like, "That's not him, is it?" Like, Doesn't look like him. Doesn't look like him. He looks like a child. He got a nose job after that movie. Did he really? He did. I and then gained eighty pounds and yeah, shrunk three inches. Point. Well, I mean, he, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happens right. when you get older. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all. I mean, I I like him in half the stuff he's done. This is not in that half. Just brutal. Just brutal. I mean, so a pretty good one. Pretty good. To compared to what Ninja Academy? Well, Ninja Academy is obviously quite a bit. Brewster better. McCloud definitely better than Brewsty. Oh God! Like this movie, it's very atmospheric. I'll I gotta say, I gotta say, surprised we're for, getting this much out of it for relevance. Like I thought this podcast would be five minutes, and then I just said fuck it. I gotta say, if this movie right now was submitted to our film festival which we do monthly, we would not accept this movie. Would you think about it? No. I would not. There she is. 
Uh, we're, the, we're, the, the, the movie's on right now. The, we're watch, we have the movie on right now. The mother is out. Oh. And the booby trap is sprung. And there she goes. Ewoks got her. Ewoks got her. <laughs> it is... D- you, <laughs> you know that this is the same forest that... No, I didn't. That there was, yep. Oh, the, is it the, really? The, yeah, it's the same Are forest from... Uh, Return of the Jedi. Yes, it is. <laughs> Where oh, is awesome. this forest? I don't know. Oh, well, cool. I think it's California. It's Redwood, isn't it? I don't know yeah, how to well, tell. That's really cool. No, no. Yeah, idea. yeah. It's literally the same. Forest. I can see. I can see. A little bit of movie trivia. Yep. So oh, you're saying cool. he walks, and that's not a oh, joke. Okay, I gotta stop here well, and say like the... we need to because for the sake of our own sanity, like SD has oh, some trivia, maybe some more trivia, but maybe he has a couple more clips from the movie to play. Let's hear those now. Put me on the spot. Yeah, I am, because I just don't know what else to do right now, like other than get angry. So this is what they're they're singing to kill another minute of the film. They just sing a nursery rhyme, because I don't know what you did on spring break, but that's what they're doing. It's a bonding, it's a bonding exercise. They're doing they're doing something on it. I mean, are, this, they, are the guys just looking to get laid? Yes, all yeah, of this, them. This is how they buttered up the girls was three blind mice. It just so it just ends behind you. The movie just ends after. I hope they all died out there. I do. I hope they died in the woods. And they're just like they. If they made like a five minute sequel to this film, and they all just like there was another camping. They don't deserve to die. Look, just because they made a bit, they were in a bad movie doesn't mean they. No, 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 not the real people. The characters. No, the characters don't deserve. Yes, they do. Every character in this movie should have been murdered, and at least then it would have been watchable. Yeah. I will, if would have been it, better. It, it would have been a lot better. Yeah. You little peckers keep up that horse shit. That's Joe Pants. That's Joe Pants. Uh, do you have any favorite lines from this? No. No, I don't. Do you? Uh, I don't have any favorite lines. I do have, like, shit. the opening scene that they shot. Uh, the guy on the motorcycle was somehow killed with a bunch of soup cans. And I thought and that was, that was like... Of, top of soup cans. Yeah, that was really weird it was to booby, me. But, it was a booby trap with, like, you know, you cut off a... Top of a can, and they're all jagged. Yeah. I, I didn't understand yeah. it, but I thought it was different. Um, yeah, was and then the, kill. I guess there was the line, like, you let that garbage do what they wanted, which was weird. Like, none of it made sense when they said that. Um, they, uh, like, the, the, like, when they left by bus, they had the, like, the, the rafts with them that they were traveling with, and somehow yeah. later on, Joe Pants had a, a raft with him. Like, they were just missing a raft yeah. from a trip, which seemed yeah. weird. Yeah. He, um, he was in charge of the rafts, so maybe they didn't know how many there were to be. Really, all I have written on this page is, Rob, please share your experience as a woodsman and how this could be relevant just cleaning on toilets. this page. Just, you know, <laughs> ride down the ride down the yeah. river until you find another toilet. And you Great. You grab out your brush and you... Uh, they got a squirt with a little with Clorox and neat. Um, was it was it actually Clorox or was it just like generic like bulk cleaner? Ah, uh, bulk bulk cleaner. I, I couldn't know G- generations or something. I believe it was called. <laughs> okay. uh, I did have and, one. And, and for the record, I really did do more than clean toilets. I, I don't mm-hmm. doubt that. Mm-hmm. I do doubt your. I did do a lot. Of clean I do toilets. doubt that you are. Uh, <laughs> That's all we ever heard about. Us. Yeah. Well, it's more. It's more funny. You you should have had a woodsman's <laughs> pal. It would have been easier for you. Yeah, regret that uh, now. The Thanks. chicken pigs. Uh, the, at one point they say like, "Who stole my lamp?" Uh, Margaret. I think that guy is psychotic. Which was like, yeah, no fucking shit. Uh, and uh, I think I I wrote down like, "Can anyone survive?" The answer because they kept asking that like, and the answer was yes. Like most of them do. And uh, this movie is without sequel. They should have called it The Final Straw because this was a disaster. <clears throat> Zeke uh, metaphorically uh, dropped his mic on that one. He threw his pen down. So I think we might be done with that. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, there's, no, there's not a ton of redeeming qualities. I mean, I don't, I think the acting's all right. I do. You can go fuck yourself, but I think they do. They do fine. With what I mean, sure they acted yeah. fine for the script. Yeah, that it, it wasn't there. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, they literally just for half the movie they're good. walking around in the woods. With yeah, no but I felt like I was in the woods. I liked that. Okay, Zeke, I liked that. 
He had to have some good looking scenes. Well, the director was a cinematographer as yeah, well. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Because, you know, you, you know couldn't how, afford one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how I am shot with that nature with that, videos with that, and that kind of thing. Like, it, it could, I wouldn't say it's a John Carpenter thing, but like a sort of a reminiscent feel of that, just like dark and like you could tell the, with the understory and the overstory, you know, the baby, yeah. You know, baby. Sure, loud and clear. I don't get it. <laughs> like they yes, didn't even yes, use they done. didn't even use the woods to the effect. Like it wasn't night You're right. attacks. Yes, it was right. it was broad daylight. I don't think anybody listening to this even knows what the movie's about. I don't know what the movie's about. I don't know what let's it's just, about. Let's just call it a let's call it a movie, a film. It was a mistake. I'll call it a mistake. Uh, well, let's call it a mistake. <laughs> Stake in the ground. Yeah, go ahead. Run through your notes. I got nothing. <laughs> Daryl Hannah had no real part. No, uh, she just happened to be in this as a background <laughs> character. She had like three lines. Good atmosphere. Felt like I could smell the mushrooms. Oh, they were all on there. them. Yeah. yeah. Just dank, damp, damp. You could tell it was damp out there. Was Egg the killer? That's what I wrote. <laughs> he and his mother. Yeah, yeah. Who just kind of shows up at some point. Like, also plays her his own, own mother, which is weird. Yeah. No, oh, didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His mother is played by Joey, <laughs> Joey Pants. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Joey P. It's just okay. so weird. It's so weird. I don't... Well, I do have one question about it. Yeah. Zeke. Yeah. Are you ready to... Jews. We gotta, we gotta rate it first. Are you ready to rate Let it? Let me re- <laughs> rewind. <laughs> we gotta rate it first. <laughs> Who's going first? Rob is. I'm always first. Fine, I'll... Got one choice, boy. Rob, too late. There it goes. Sex or the saw. I can't undo it. You can't. It's been played. It's been it's done. Fine. It's been done. It's written in stone. Uh, I'm going to put it as saw, a real booby trap. Oh, that, uh, that counts. It's been a while since you've given a saw. Yes, I don't yeah, honestly yeah. remember the last time you gave a saw. I could I could reference, but it's been... Yeah, yeah. It really has. It wouldn't be that Bruce Willis film. From Christmas. Oh, oh I mean well, that. Well, yeah, that's yeah, true. That, but that's prior true. to that, prior to like that, on the movie. actual, yeah, on the actual show. All right, hit me. <laughs> it just makes me sad. What? Is, it's just how it's gone a couple times on this podcast, where like we pick a movie that's impossible to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, then yeah, a couple yeah, weeks yeah. later, it's free. Yeah, we never, we never put, we haven't said that. Uh, Zeke bought this movie for... It's like 20 bucks. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's been free on YouTube for the past five it years. Is, oh. It's been free on YouTube with a different title. It ha- No, oh. it's called yeah. The Final Terror on there. No, I oh. checked YouTube. It's got 5.8 million views. I, I looked and I did not find it. it. Just hey, old man, this week. I don't know learn how to YouTube. Say. I YouTube. I did not find it. And it just came 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 for streaming on what platform? Shutter. Shutter. I can't believe you paid twenty dollars for this. Dude, I it was like I even I read forums and I was like, how do I find this movie? I looked for it on VHS, I looked for it on Laserdisc, I looked for it on what is the C E D, whatever that one is. I'm your producer. Let me know some next time, okay? Yeah, well you can find the next movie we can't find. That's great. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh out of two ninety nine 30 cents. I give this 30 cents. Pretty low. Yeah. This was bad. It's bad on every level. It's bad on an indie level. It's bad on just a movie making level. I, I would love to read the script for it, actually, just to know what the fuck they thought they were making. You yeah. have to be so upset about it. I feel like I'm not yelling, and I should be. This is bad. Yeah. Like right. They needed a producer that yelled at them. This was a mistake. But now I'm ready to choose my death. Make it quick. Let's go. Zeke. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <clears throat> Zeke, you You gotta you gotta shout it. Gimme. Like rip the heart out of my head. Zeke. Zeke. Uh, <clears throat> Zeke. Zeke. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Zeke, are you ready to choose your death? I've been waiting my whole life. Let's go. All right. So we got uh, six of them for you. All right. How many of them are good? Uh, you tell me. All right. So from the character Vanessa, Akosua Busia, Kosha Busha. Okay. She was the the black lady. I don't know if it's proper to say. Daughter of the uh, president of Uganda at the time. For real? Seriously. <laughs> okay. That's, All right. that's what was she trivia. doing in trivia. this movie? What was anyone doing it? She got lost. I don't know. I oh mean, my God. she just wandered into the forest. We're like, hey. She was the daughter of the sitting president of Uganda, and she found herself in this film? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what the trivia says. I, I mean, I'm sure you could do some research okay. to look at the name. So Hit me. So she's got three today. Okay. Three of the six? Yeah. All right. Oh, Jesus. The color purple. Okay. That is... I got it written down there. 85. A black southern woman struggles to find her identity after suffering abuse from her father and others over four decades. Okay. Juan. Ha, ha, ha. Ghana. I apologize. Ghana. Still, I mean, that's shocking. Is there any other trivia that you have? Nope. Neat. <laughs> neat She's thing. also in New Jack City. New Jack City. A crime lord ascends to power and becomes megalomaniacal. Megalo, meg, megalomaniacal. Hey, megalomaniac. What year is that from? Early Inc- Incubus, yeah. No, <laughs> no but it's not the, Incubus. The movie. Oh, oh, the movie. Is, oh, is it Incubus? Yeah, yeah it, it is Incubus. Yeah. Hey. Oh, shit. Megalomaniac. Uh, I can't play that. You guys will get the movie? Yeah, copyright yeah. strike on that one. <laughs> and becomes a, a crime lord. He ascends to power and becomes a megalomaniacal. <laughs> I really do have troubles with words sometimes. While a maverick police detective vows to stop him. From what year? 91. 91. All right. Last one from her, from the... Princess of Ghana. Ghana. I mean, they don't call the president daughter. Wait, wait, uh, it's a... <clears throat> From the gal. Sure. Boy, I feel like I'm just. Okay. Uh, ab- uh, seventh sign. Oh, that's right. 88. Abby Quinn is eagerly awaiting childbirth, but is haunted by dreams where she suffers a miscarriage when she decides to rent a room to a mysterious stranger. She realizes the chains of events. I have to read all. You don't have to read all. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. As it's sort of a Rosemary's Baby situation. Is one of them President's Man? No. Oh, no. okay. We could have gotten to President's Man? No. I was just no, asking. That's, that's good. Randomly. Did you okay. want to see the first one? You no, very no, rarely no, want to see the first one. Well, so we have I feel like seeing the second one was enough. So on uh, Mark one. M., the uh, quote-unquote adults. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can Told call you. that one there. That's fine. We're going to get flagged for sure on that one. Yeah, we're going to get flagged by Not if you keep talking. <laughs> mm. <laughs> keep covering it up. Mm. Don't stop. Mm. All right. Are you ready on the, uh, the next... <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. so, I don't know what The I maestro from Seinfeld, he was in. I'm going to cut one of those out, probably. Yeah, okay, maestro. let's. Seinfeld. Mark Metcalf. Metcalf, he was Mike. Where the Buffalo Roam. Semi biological. <laughs> Semi biographical film based on the experience of gonzo journalist hunter l thompson and that has the uh, jesus rob setphones fell off yeah. bill, murray. That bill murray it has bill murray in it yeah where the buffalo bro yeah so it's like a fear and loathing with bill murray sort of have you heard of it before i've seen it you've seen it yeah with your own eyes i have yeah oh boy i don't recall Anything Mark about Met- it? No, I remember. Okay. Fair amount, but I don't remember Mark Metcalf made it up. But... All right. Uh, boy, and then have we covered a Bill Murray movie? I mean, we have, because he was in... Uh, he's, 
No, he wasn't. Real Tenenbaums, yeah. Yeah, he was in Real Tenenbaums, right? He's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, Mark Metcalf is also in The Sleeper. One man must stop the government's ultimate assassin, assassin, a sleepwalker agent capable of entering people's dreams and killing them from within, only to discover that the killer is the one person they cannot defeat. SD, you're, you're 2007. 2007. You've 7. seen that movie? Which one? I wasn't paying attention. The Sleeper? Well, you were just nodding? He's, he's just out. nodding over there. Mm-hmm. Neat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And fine. He's listening to something else. He's, he's got like just music <laughs> p- pumping into his headphones at this point. Cool. And finally, from Lewis Smith, he played Boone, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. Adventurer, brain surgeon, rock musician, Buckaroo Banzai. And his crime-fighting team, the Hong Kong Cavaliers, must stop evil alien invaders from the Eighth Dimension who are planning to... I have to read all. Give me a second. No, you don't have to. Who are planning to conquer Earth. That wasn't much more. Two words. Interesting. I I really thought when I set you up with this movie that you just come back with Clan of the Cave Bear and be done. Have you seen Clan of the Cave Bear? Yeah, I've seen I've never seen it. Well, I mean, I can tell you, she uses a weapon. She's a woman. She gets kicked out. Bada bing, bada boom. There's your movie. Better or worse than this one? Oh, better. Much better. Yeah. So why would you offer it to me now, I guess? I didn't. I know. That's why I said that. Uh, Buckaroo Banzai in the eighth dimension. I don't know why I have to think about that. Let's just go with that one. Uh, Rob's an Auden, because that's the one he wanted me to pick. That's why he didn't offer me Clan of the Cave Bear. You want to wait? You told me you want to climb the cable. I might not. No, Buckaroo Bonsai. Okay. Who are we connecting from that one? Who's the Jack person? Boone, I believe his name Jack was Boone. Lewis Smith. Was Boone? Excuse me. Lewis Smith. All right. Good guest in that. Peter Weller, John Lithgow, John Go- Jeff Goldblum, Christopher Lloyd. You're gonna have plenty of places to Clancy go. Clancy Brown, oh, baby boy. Straight down, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you have some options on that. I've one. never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never heard of it. Oh, really? Yeah. You've seen Ready Player One, haven't you? Yeah. Ah, there's something. They talked about it in there. He wears a suit from that or something. Okay. Okay. So it's a Disney film at no this point. point. Yeah, maybe. Must be. Yeah, it's great. Cool. All right. Well, uh, everybody, remember, don't be a sucker. It's been a slice. And if you need us, just whistle. <laughs> Okay, love you, bye. The portions of today's broadcast that you actually enjoyed are brought to you in whole by... Do you have trouble keeping your poop at a group? Oh, God. It's you again. Do you have crap in your trap? Why can't you just leave me alone? I think the better question is, why do you keep loitering in my store? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, okay, uh, what do you got for me today? Well, you're in luck. For those full of shit such as yourself, I've got just the thing. It's called the bowel trowel. The what now? Oh, you've got a bad shit for brains. This will sort you right out. It's the bowel trowel. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Sold. See you next Tuesday. I doubt it. Clean that shit out. Get your bowel trowel today. You little peckers keep up that horse shit. <laughs>